Reopen for business. That's the motto for Subiaco. The city admits it has lost its charm over the years, but says it's working to rebuild what was a vibrant hotspot of Perth. Here's Tracy Vaux with this week's Sunday Focus. <laughs> Subiaco, once a bustling retail hub and soon to be the former home of football. The city says it's working hard to get Subi back to its heyday. You've lost a lot of businesses here. What have you changed? Well, we've been working very hard with our business community to try and reduce the red tape that's involved in planning applications, land use, um, alfresco fees have been um, cancelled so that people can now come and start a business very mu much more easily in Subiaco than they were able to do in the past. The city of Subiaco takes in Daglish, parts of Netherlands, Shenton Park and Jollymont, with 17,000 residents and around 400 retail and hospitality businesses. It has lost its touch over the years. Why do you think that is? I think you're right, it has. It was first of all the global financial crisis. High rents have prevented lots of people from coming to start up businesses. And at one stage we became a shopping centre in a main street and lost the quirkiness. Trying to bring back that quirkiness, the Cat Cafe and business owners like Murray Gill. Hi Murray. Good morning. He runs Juanita's small bar on Rockaby Road. Unlike other businesses, it has experienced success over the last five years. Murray's so confident he's setting up a fish and chip shop down the road. I like um, the whole uh, idea of a 1950s fish and chip shop where families used to come and, and uh, there was a ritual of the, the guy lying the paper out and getting that big tumbler of salt and spreading it like that and the whole ritual of a fish and chip, it's, it's theatre. Subi is open for business or reopen for business as some people might like to say. The development of the old A Cinema site will play a major part in Subiaco's revitalisation. Subiaco, with its two 10,000 square metre buildings, its 168 room hotel, its new retail mall and plaza and five screen cinema is going to add life to a heart of Subiaco. Projects like Subiaco will prove that there is life in Subiaco after football goes to the new stadium. There have been radical proposals to convert Domain Stadium into a wave garden, but Mayor Heather Henderson yes. doesn't want to say goodbye to football. We treasure the spirit of football. There may be opportunities for the West Australian Football Commission to use it as their home. The West Coast Eagles have a sublease with the West Australian Football Commission till 2023, and their home has not yet been started at Lath Lane. So there are a number of options that, that can be canvassed over the next few years. Tracy Vaux, Nine News.